Number one, don't go for the role of a network engineer immediately. Without actually knowing what all that job entails, some of the basic things may, may seem quite frustrating. Number two, don't let certifications hold you back from applying. It can take a while to study for these certifications. If you're studying for something, list it on your resume. Number three, and that is don't negotiate too early. I had little experience, so I always thought that meant I was gonna get the short end of the stick. But what I found is you wanna do your research when you're going into a role. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you three mistakes to avoid when pursuing the role of a network engineer. Number one, don't go for the role of a network engineer immediately. And what I mean by this is Pursuing that role, and, and this is from the perspective of a person coming into the field of IT with no experience to begin with, that role can feel seem a bit daunting. And without actually knowing what all that job entails, um, some of the basic things may, may seem quite frustrating. So what I'd say is while you're preparing, you're studying, you're acquiring certifications, or whatnot or what whatever you're using to help you prepare for that role you could be in an entry-level position in IT uh, that could be a help desk position a technician role and, and whether or not whatever it is it's going to allow you to put experience under your belt while you're pursuing that role this will really let you wrap your head around the basics uh, and, and get a better understanding of exactly what your role is in the field of IT Get familiar with what a ticketing system is, how to operate it in order to communicate with customers. Uh, but overall, just getting that entry level position before pursuing that role helps you to build your experience and understand a little bit more about IT before moving into that advanced level role. Moving on to number two, and that's don't let certifications hold you back from applying. And whether you're studying for the CCNA or a PMP, um, what you want to notate is it can take a while to study for these certifications. One of the things I say is if you're studying for something, list it on your resume. Whether or not you've acquired a certification, you're still gaining exposure to those skills and the way that you can communicate that to the person that's viewing your interview, viewing your resume is by listing exactly what topics you're being exposed to. Now you could even go as far to say, hey, I'm studying for this certification. But definitely don't let the fact that you don't have that validated certificate saying, hey, you've passed this test, stop you from listing what you're exposed to on your resume. One of the cons of not doing that and pursuing a certification for maybe longer than you intended to be studying for it is that things change. So when you started your studying initially, by the time you've actually come to pass the test, well, there could be new requirements to the role that you're fulfilling and you could feel like you're behind because you've been studying old information for uh, such a period of time. Definitely don't let that hold you back from applying to that role. If you feel like you're ready, you feel like you have exposure to some of the requirements and you're ready to make that next step. All right, moving on to number three, and that is don't negotiate too early. And this really tripped me up when I was starting out because I was never too sure who to speak to about, you know, how much the job listing was. I, I wasn't sure if that was an okay question to ask. And I myself just wasn't quite sure as to, to know how much I should actually be paid. <laughs> I had little experience, so I always thought that meant I was gonna get the short end of the stick. Um, but what I found is you wanna do your research when you're going into a role, whether that's a network engineer role, a junior network engineer role, you wanna research how much the average is that's being paid for that role in that given state or wherever that position is located. That way you have a number to fixate on. You can say, hey, I wanna be paid at the average or maybe you wanna be paid a little more than the average. But doing that research and finding out what that number is gives you just a, a stance in terms of you know knowing which direction you're headed in. In terms of talking about money, wait until an offer has actually been made before you know renegotiating or saying, hey, can you offer me this? Because at that point, at least you know then that the company likes you, they think you're a great fit for them. And at that point, it's, it's really negotiable up to, you know, can they offer you something that would make you feel comfortable? 
So definitely keep that in mind when you're pursuing the role of a network engineer starting out to try to avoid those mistakes that caught me. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this video helpful towards your IT journey. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.